Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z. And I'm here with some more White Sox baseball for you. The Imagine season <coughs> rolls on. We are doing the May 31st game that would have happened in real life. This game will be versus the Twins. And as you can see, we are actually a little behind what the White Sox would have done in, re in real life or what they actually did do in real life through 60 games. Their actual record was 35 and 25, and right now they come in 32 and 27, and having gone only four and six in their last 10. <laughs> so we will have to see how that works today, whether we can win. And even if we do win, we're still going to be two games behind the pace. But uh, of what they actually did through 60 games. But we will see if they can pull out a win and get a little further ahead here. Um, as you can see in the standings, the standings are kind of wacky. Um, let's see. Because we, <coughs> we're in third place, five games back, 32 and 27. The Twins are in second at 36 and 23. And somehow Kansas City is 37 and 22. So uh, that's not really the best news. And I don't know how Kansas City is doing as well as they are, but we have to deal with it. And uh, we got to start with this game and hope that we win. So we have. Dunning going up for us today, and we would be the human controlled. And he is going to go up against Pineda. The lineup for the Twins will be Polanco at short, Rosario in left, um, Cruz at DH, Sano at first, Marvelous Marwin Gonzalez at second, Buxton in center, Kepler in right. Donaldson at third, and they will have Alex Avia at catcher. Bob Zolke for his White Sox will line up at, with Madrigal at second, Moncada at third, Abreu at first, Jimenez in left, Encarnacion at DH, Robert in center, Tim Anderson at short, Mazzara in right, and Zach Collins doing the catching. So Dunning will start by facing George Polanco. And he hits the ball at Abreu, and Abreu makes the play, and Eddie Rosario is up. And Eddie Rosario hits the ball at Abreu, and Abreu makes the play, and there's two down quickly for Cruz. And Cruz hits the ball at Abreu. Abreu's been busy this game. And uh, that gets them out of the inning. We go to the bottom of the first. Nick Madrigal facing Pineda. And he lines out to second. One away. Moncada is up. And 
Moncada hits the ball at the middle, but Polanco is there, and he makes the play. Two down, and Abreu up at the plate. And he hits the ball to center field. Buxton is there, and he makes the play, and it's 0-0 after one. We go to the top of the second. Miguel Sano up, and Dunning gets him on strikes. And up steps marvelous Marwin Gonzalez. And he hits the ball at Madrigal, and Madrigal will make the play on that. There is two down, and Buxton up. And Buxton really gets a hold of one to left field over Jimenez's head and over the wall. And that gives the Twins a 1-0 lead, and Max Kepler steps in. And he takes ball four. So he's at first base, and Donaldson is up. And he's trying to take off for second, and he makes it. So stolen base by Kepler, and Donaldson still at the plate. And there's a pass ball, gets by Collins, and moves Kepler to third with two down. And it looks like Donaldson's popping it high in the air, and Anderson will make the play on. But the Twins do get one run in the second inning. We go to the bottom of the second. Jimenez is up. And he's going to ground out to Polanco. Encarnacion at the plate. And he gives this thing a ride. The outfielders are back, and they make the play. Buxton makes the play. No, he doesn't. No, it gets away from me. It gets still over his head. All right, so they actually uh, have a man at second. I thought Buxton was going to make that one, but Robert is up. And Robert gets a hold of one, and I don't think the park is going to hold this one, but we will see. And it doesn't. It's gone. And the White Sox take a 2-1 lead. One out, and Tim Anderson at the plate. And he strikes out. So there's two down, Mazzara up. And he is going to ground out to the pitcher. So the White Sox take the lead. Dunning has a lead to hold now, and Avia is up at the plate against him, and... He hits the ball right up the middle for a single. Polanco up. And Polanco's going to hit it fairly deep, but Mazar is there and he makes the play. Rosario up at the plate. He strikes out. And that brings up Cruz. The dangerous Cruz. And he strikes out. So Dunning wiggles his way off the hook there with a man on, but that's it for the Twins, and we go to the bottom of the third. Collins up. And Collins lines out to Marvelous Marwin. Madrigal's up at the plate. He strikes out. And that brings up Moen Cotta. And Moncada hits the ball up the middle, and he's got a single. Up. So Moncada at first, Abreu up, two down. And he's going to ground out to Polanco to end the inning. We go to the top of the fourth. Two to one White Sox. And Miguel Sano gets a hold of one, hits it in the gap between Robert and Jimenez, and he'll pull up with a double on that. Marvelous Marwin's up. And he is going to line out to Mazzara. Buxton up the plate. And he's going to line out to Jimenez. There's two down for the Twins, but still with Sano at second base. And Kepler up. And Kepler hits this one over Mazzara's head. It's deep. I don't think it's going to hold it. And it doesn't, 
and the Twins take a 3-2 lead on a two-run home run, and Donaldson comes up, and he flies out to center. So we are in the bottom of the fourth, the White Sox behind now, and Eloy Jimenez up. Pineda's still out there. And it looks like he's going to pop out to Polanco for the first away. And Encarnacion, who doubled last time, is going to fly out to Kepler. And Lewis Robert is up the plate with two down, and he strikes out. So we go to the top of the fifth. The Twins still leading three to two. Dunning deals, and it's a ground ball to Moncada, and he makes the play. Polanco is up at the plate. And he grounds out to Madrigal, who makes the play. And there's two down quickly with Eddie Rosario up. And he's striking out. We go to the bottom of the fifth. Timmy Anderson, TA7. And he, take, he swings on the third strike, and he's out. Mazar is up at the plate. And he is going to ground out. There's two down quickly. And Zach Collins. And Zach Collins hits a fly ball to Rosario. Not a good fielder out there. And it shows he can't get the ball. And Collins ends up with a single from it. And Madrigal. And that's going to be a pop out to Avia. So we go to the top of the sixth. Twins still leading. Cruz up at the plate. And he's looking at a third strike, and he is down on strikes. Miguel Sano is up. And he is going to ground out to Tim Anderson. Two down. Gonzalez is up. And he strikes out. So the Twins get nothing in the sixth, but it's getting late for the White Sox. Although they are only down by a run, and Moncada's up. And he strikes out. Swinging. One down for the Sox. And a Brave steps in. And he's going to fly out deep to Kepler. Jimenez up at the plate. And Jimenez hits a single right past Sano. So he is aboard. And then Canarcion is up at the plate. And there's going to be a pitching change. George Alcala comes in to face Encarnacion. And he's going to line out to Polanco to end the threat. We go to the top of the seventh. Buxton is up. And he's going to hit a ground ball towards Madrigal. And Madrigal makes the play. Kepler is up. And he's going to hit a foul out to the catcher, and that brings up Donaldson with two down. And he hits it at Madrigal. And Madrigal makes the play for the out. We go to the bottom of seven. So, Lewis Robert leads off against Alcala, who is still out there. And he hits the ball up the middle. 
but they make the play, and Anderson is up. And Anderson goes down on strikes, looking. And Mazzara. And they bring in Taylor Rogers to face Mazzara. And he hits the ball up the middle for a single. He's on. Collins up at the plate. And Collins is down on strikes. We go to the top of the eighth. And there's going to be a pitching change. And Zalke will bring in Garrett Crochet to pitch to Avila. And he gets a single. He greets Crochet with a single. Polanco up. And Polanco lays down a bunt. And the bunt moves Avia to second with Rosario up and one away. And he strikes out Rosario. So there's two down. And now Nelson Cruz at the plate. And Nelson Cruz gets a hold of this. He knocks it out of here. Crochet giving up the big dong to Cruz. And now the Twins have a sizable lead. And he strikes out Sano to get the side, but not before the Twins score five runs and Madrigal is up against Taylor Rogers, who's still out there. He flies out to Kepler. The Sox falling on hard times lately, four and six in their last ten, and looks like they're on their way to losing this one too. Moncada gets hit by a pitch, though, on the arm, and he will take first base. Abreu up. Abreu flies out to center field. And that brings up Jimenez. And Jimenez hits the ball deep. Buxton's back on it, but he can't get it. And he guns out the runner at the plate, and that is it. The White Sox don't come up with a run, even though they almost had a chance to get at least one back. They didn't do it. Crochet is still out there. Marwin is up. Top of the ninth. Anderson makes the play on him. Buxton is up. Buxton strikes out. And that brings up Kepler. And Kepler strikes out. So nobody on for the Twins there, but the White Sox have a stiff, uh, a steep hill to climb and a uh, pretty bad uh, situation here. And Canarcion, they bring on Trevor May to pitch for the Twins, and he'll face Encarnacion. And he hits a ground ball at Polanco. And that's a single. It gets past Polanco, and Encarnacion is aboard with Robert up. And Robert hits a fly ball to left again. Rosario, not the best of fielders out there. But he gets it. So there is one down, Anderson up. And Anderson is going to line out to Polanco. And that brings up Mazzara. And Mazzara grounds out, and that will end the game. The White Sox lose again to the Twins. They drop to 32 and 28. And uh, the Twins go to 37 and 23. And that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, signing off.